okay uh, now let's look into this question so in this question they are talking about uh, let g be a graph with 100 factorial vertices okay so a very big number uh, we cannot deal with 100 factorial vertices we will deal, we'll deal with a smaller number to figure it out how the pattern is working and then we will see uh, for the timing let's continue with each vertex labeled by a distinct permutation of the numbers 1 to 100 okay so let's start with a smaller number itself so let's say we are talking about three numbers one two three so we are talking about three factorial vertices and each uh, vertex labeled by a distinct permutation of one two three so we are talking about uh, three vertices here right so distinct permutation means right okay so if one is like let's say one two three this thing is there then another can be one three two another can be two one three other can be 2 3 1 something like that you understand right 3 1 2 3 2 1 so in that sense let's say this is vertex a this is vertex b this is vertex c d e and f in that fashion right so they are saying that uh, if these vertices so three factorial is basically six vertices right and we have identified them like a b c d e f right and how they are uh, how, uh, having an edge the edge definition is something like this there is an edge between the vertices u, uh, u and v if and only if the label of u can be obtained by swapping two uh, two adjacent numbers in the label of uh, v okay so they are talking about okay if i can get from one number to another number by just swapping two adjacent elements then there is an edge so for example let's say you swap two and three what do you get 1 will be remaining as it is 2 and 3 you swap you get 1 3 2 so there is an edge between these two so there is an edge between a and b in this graph similarly there is an edge between a and c right why because a is this c is this and if you swap 1 and 2 you get this thing so now you are getting the picture right so getting the picture that okay 1 2 3 okay so, uh, so finally, what they are asking? Firstly, let's understand that they are asking about in in such a setting, uh, let y denote the degree of a vertex G, and z denote the number of connected components in G. Then the value of this is what? So we are figuring out what is the total number of connected components, disjoint parts, and what is the degree of a particular vertex? Okay, so first of all uh, 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 uh. see on the face of it it just looks like that they are asking about why what is the why denote the degree of a vertex in g if that if they are no, asking about the degree of vertex in g it means that all the vertices have the same degree now if all the vertices have the same degree then uh, we will figure out that what is that thing okay so let's let's see one two three so to how many other nodes this 1 2 3 will be connected okay so let's list out all the options one thing is that you swap this thing right so you get 2 1 and 3 what is another option okay another option is i will swap 2 and 3 okay so 1 will be as it is and then 3 2 right what is another option another option is that i will let 2 as, remain as it is i will swap 1 and 3 okay so the another option is basically you can swap 3 2 1 okay these are the only things. so now you're getting a pattern right so if there is 1 2 3 4 you will swap this and then this and then this understand in, in, the, in that fashion okay so uh, uh, in the okay so I think I made a mistake here why because uh, in the question they are what saying they are saying that the swapping I think can be done using uh, adjacent numbers only okay so I cannot swap 1 and 3 okay so this part is basically wrong so you will not go have this thing definitely not okay so they are talking about the swapping of this and this so this is okay this is okay right so in that fashion you cannot swap 1 and 4 3 and 1 right you can only swap 1 2 2 3 3 4 right okay what about 5 1 2 3 4 5 you can swap 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 you can swap another so what is the pattern you are getting see for 
three elements only two swaps are there for four elements uh, three swaps are there for five elements four swaps are there you are getting the pattern right basically you are getting n minus one possible swaps so n minus one possible different vertices to which it can be connected which means n minus one is the degree of a particular vertex it means every graph every uh, node in this graph is going to have degree n minus one and in case of 100 that n minus 1 is going to be 99 it means all the vertices in that graph of 100 factorial vertices is going to have 99 degree all the vertices the degree will be 99 so my point is that y denote the degree of a vertex y is 99 we have figured out what about z z is the number of uh, z is the number of connected components okay so how many Let's clean it up. Okay, so this thing we came out with 99. Total number of connected components we are trying to figure out. Now, let's try to uh, 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 let's try to get to backward. So, uh, let's say that let's say that I have any random uh, any random ordering. So let's say uh, 1, 3, 2, okay, or 2, 1, 3, anything is there randomly, right? And my point is to reach 1, 2, 3, a sorted order, okay? And it need not be in one uh, or uh, swap, swap. You can take more than one swaps, but is it possible? Okay, so something like let's say, uh, um, let's say, two three one something like this is also there what are the possible steps so in how many swaps you can reach one two three that is the idea we will come back to it why i am doing that but you will understand in the process so how you can reach one two three here so let us uh, uh, try to solve it like a puzzle so one three two my target is to do this so i can do one thing okay i can swap two and three and then i will get one two three so turns out directly I can reach from here to here. So there is an edge between these two vertices, right? What happens if I do a swap here? I swap one and two, then I again get one, two, three. So there is directly I can reach here, right? Now with two, three, one, it looks like uh, you cannot reach directly. You can you can never swap two vertices and directly reach one, two, three. But you can do a few things. So uh, let's say you swapped this. Then what are you getting? You are getting 2, 1, 3. So this is connected to this. Then again you swap this and then you are getting 1, 2, 3. You swap 1, 2, 3. You are getting. So via this you have reached here. But when you are talking about connected components, even if you have reached them via some vertex, it is reachable via this path, right? So basically all these are part of one component itself. Okay. Now, turns out that in this graph, you start with any vertex, you can reach the sorted order. That's why I started with a few examples. In fact, if the, the, there is, let's say, 10 vertex and in any order, uh, uh, that thing is like 9, 2, 1, 7, 4, 8, something, 10 vertices are in any order and your target is to find a uh, sorted one, 1, 2, 3, 4 till 10, let's say. That is your target. Okay. Can you reach from here to here just by swapping uh, adjacent elements? Why? Because if you swap adjacent element, just adjacent element, you will reach another vertex. Uh, again, you swap another uh, two adjacent vertices, you will reach another vertex. Eventually, by doing like that and that, if you can reach till here, it means that entire thing is going to be um, in the same component right and if it turns out that any such permutation from that you can reach to the sorted sorted one then everything is one connected component you understand right if that is that is true and turns out that is true why because that you might already be knowing that what happens is that this is basically famous uh, bubble sort algorithm you can understand why because in bubble sort what do you do that okay i will do continuous passings in such a way that i will like if 10 is somewhere then i will do such that in first bubble the maximum element goes towards the rightmost then i will try to figure out that in continuous swaps 9 goes to the second last right so in that fashion but just by adjacent swaps like in bubble sort you can 
create a sorted order which means that sorted bubble sort works it means that definitely you can uh, just by adjacent swaps you can move from any permutation to a sorted permutation right so you can now you're getting the feeling that how i'm saying that there is a single connected component it means that you can reach from any vertex to any vertex see if you can reach uh, there is any other per, uh, set of uh, thing uh, vertices and if you can from here also you can reach here and from here also you can reach here then from here you can reach here also right via this sorted order it means that you take any two permutations you can reach from one to another one at least via this sorted one right so there is has to be the, uh, one single component so point is z value is 1 99 plus 10 into 1 10 coming out to be 109 so the answer is 109 that is the answer